Good morning, everybody out in YouTube land. It's the Snowbird Gardener here. I'm in the Winter Garden in Southern California, and we had a rain last night. Oh, how wonderful. Rain in Southern California is a special treat. I got some here coming off the roof on the side, and also the cooler is about half full. I like to keep the lid on. That way it doesn't evaporate so quickly. The wading pool is absolutely full to overflowing. That was coming off of the roof of patio cover. And this little bucket here is probably more like the true amount we got. Maybe maybe an inch, maybe a little over an inch of rain. That was a beautiful lightning thunderstorm. And it rained off and on all night pretty much. Now the big barrel only got a little bit down there. I don't know if you can see it. But that either means there is a hole somewhere in this bucket, trash bin, or it could mean that um, I just didn't have it in the right place. <laughs> but oh, the trees are happy today. Oh, happy day for the trees. So far we have three buckets of peas planted and this last one down here is just about ready to be planted. This will probably be broccoli or cauliflower. So I've been learning a lot about juniper trees since I have so many juniper trees at the summer garden. Um, this one I have here. I've been reading up and you can cut this off like about here. And you can root. Stick the, well, you can stick them in the dirt and they'll root. So I'm going to try that. I've got two different kinds here. I've got this one here. I think it's a Chinese one. Then I've got the regular juniper here. And you can do the same thing. You cut off about six inches. And you peel down. So you've got this, a bare stem. And then you put that in the dirt. So this is the best I've ever seen these junipers look. And I think it's because last year I put mulch all around it. Here we had a bunch of... Oh, let's see who's here. Hello, pretty guy. Can I take a picture of you? You're such a nice friend. Yeah, that's the preciousest friend. A little friend, huh? Anyway, back to the junipers. Okay, so they have done better this year than I've ever seen them in all the years that I've lived in this house, which is quite a few. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I think it's because of the mulch that we put on it last year. Now, when we trimmed this big one up, this big one on the corner, I threw all the branches down in here so that it can mulch back into the soil. All those good nutrients. Okay, let me walk around here. Oh, look, two lizards. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. Oh, I'm standing on my... Wow, one of them's really fat. Maybe that's the mom and the daddy. So cute. You like that, huh? You like all that stuff, huh? There you go. Oh, they're so cute. They've grown a lot this summer. Anyway, I bought some seed starting uh, potting mix. And I'm putting that in this big black pot here. Where is it? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Anyway, it's a big black pot. Oh, I see. I just see my there we go. Okay, and I'm going to root some of these. I'm going to take some of these off of here and see if I can root them. Okay, just have to water this one in. And then I've been reading that you can get a gel rooting hormone. Or you can use honey, or you can use apple cider vinegar, you can use aloe. So I think I may try some different things and see what I can see what I can get to root those cuttings. Well, I got these all in here in seed starting medium, like I showed you, and I have two different kinds. Here are the little ones. Is the big tree, and I put different rooting hormones on them. I marked them here. I've got plain, 
I've got vinegar, I've got some cinnamon, and we will see which rooting compound does the best. So I'm making a little plastic teepee for a little greenhouse over the cuttings. I hope they're going to be happy. It's a misty morning, so the dogs are all hanging out in the car. Precious is so happy. Look at the happy tail. <laughs> what a good girl. What are you doing, Kiki? You have a nice haircut. <laughs> there he is, in the back, all curled up. But you look like a fox. Are you a fox? Hmm? You're a good boy. I put this little blanket on the back with some magnets, just so when I open the door, it, um, it gives a little shade in there on the hot days. I don't know if today's going to be hot or not. Got some doves up in the tree here. Some little guys up higher. I love the extra limbs up there so the birds can perch. I planted broccoli in this one. So until the lentils grow, I'm going to use a little bit of pine needles for my mulch around the broccoli. More pine needle mulch. some two by fours here on this rock and on the stump and it is kind of wobbly I probably should put a nail in right here and here but the compost bins are good this is the one that is the most recent so it has a lot of sticks and leaves still the middle one it's pretty good. When I sift it out, it's got some nice compost in there. And this one, this one's been cooking the longest, so it still has some, some leaves and sticks, but it's very good. This one I've been using for, for the orange buckets that I've been planting. I use these waste baskets and a couple of these buckets to sift out the extra leaves and sticks. It's working really well. That's it today, folks, for the Snowbird Gardener at the Winter Garden. Thank you for joining me today. Remember, Jesus loves you. He's the exact image of the invisible God. Jesus was hanging out with his friends, and he told them, I'm going away. And he said, you know, you know where I'm going. And they said, we don't know where you're going. He goes, you know the way. They go, we don't know the way. We don't even know where you're going. <laughs> and you know what he said? <laughs> he said, I am the way. Jesus is the way, the truth, and life. If you are looking for the way in your life, and you're looking for, for true life, and you're looking for truth, then you're looking for Jesus. I'll see you next time. Adios. Bye-bye.